Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be doing the area of a parallelogram. And for the area of a parallelogram, we have a diagram right here that's going to help us. The area of a parallelogram with the base B in the height H has the same area as the rectangle with the base B in the height H. So if you see, the area of a parallelogram is base times height. Just base times height. And that will get you the area of the parallelogram. Now, the height, very important, is perpendicular to the base. Perpendicular to the base. So we would never say this diagonal here is the height. We don't measure ourselves and say from here to the floor down there, I'm seven and a half feet tall. You'd measure straight up and down to the floor, perpendicular to the floor, if you will. Now, I want you to see something. If we cut this part off here, and we move it over, we get a rectangle, which we know a rectangle is length times width to find the area or base times height. So we can see that a rectangle and a parallelogram are pretty well related. Cut this part off here, bring it over here, and we have a parallelogram. Now I want you to look at something here to uh, foreshadow the area of a triangle. If I take and I draw from this vertex to this vertex from D to B, or from B to D, we get a triangle. And that triangle has the same base and height. Now, the cool thing is, is that these are two congruent triangles. Two congruent triangles. Congruent means they're equal. So um, this triangle here is equal to this triangle here. So to find the area of a triangle, you would do base times height, and then divide it by two to get just one of these triangles. And uh, the height, again, is perpendicular to the base. Or you could do, for the area of a triangle, one-half base times height. But today, we're focused on the area of a parallelogram. And the area of a parallelogram is base times height. Sometimes they'll throw in these side lengths here just to confuse you, but you would still be just looking for the base or the height. Now, sometimes they draw the height down from here, which I'll show you. And you again, you would just still do area equals base times height. So get that in your memory now. Let's go through the lesson. So we are on um, 7-1, find the area of a parallelogram. Here you can see the base is 2 and the height is 7. Now sometimes they'll put like an 8 here to for the slant height. But we want the perpendicular height. You see that right there? That's a right angle. So the base is 2 and the height is 7. And 2 times 7 is an area of 14 square yards. 14 yards squared. Because area is found in square units. Like think of a tile on your bathroom floor, for example. So let's see if that is... Let's see if that works, guys. Um... Yeah, good job. It worked. So now let's go to the next one. And in this one, base times height. So 6 times 4, that's 24 meters squared. Hey, we're rocking and rolling. We're going to be done with this lesson in no time at all. And next we have, oh, so now we have a fraction, a mixed number of sorts. And the hack I wanted to share with you here, the base is 22 and one half. 22 and one half. So we do 22 and one half times 22. So let's do that now. Now, 22 and one half equals 22.5. So I'm going to write that 22.5 times 22. And that equals 495. 495. You're allowed to use a calculator on these. And we got it. And we have one more, one more. Here we go. Let's see. Sarah made an origami dog. Let's take a look at this origami dog here. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that origami dog. And it looks like there's a parallelogram right here on the leg. So Sarah made an origami dog. What is the area of the parallelogram highlighted in the origami figure? So we would have to do base times height. And we'll just plug that in. 3 times 3.34 equals 10 and 2 hundredths. So that would be 10 and 2 hundredths inches squared. So this would be volume. This would be just a dimension. And it would be inches squared. Here we go. And we did it. Let's see our score. Um, submit work. 
Thank you so much. So that is the area of a parallelogram, which is area equals base times height. And the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Thanks. Hope you guys have a great day doing math.